Okay. Today we're going to be playing a game of transmission matrix between my hack Islam, Vanilla, and Kyle, my opponent, Vanilla Nomads. Kyle, how are you doing this evening? Oh, really well. Excellently rehearsed, almost as if we haven't been talking for the last, like, 40 minutes while we do deployment. Um, so we've... <laughs> We've both deployed already uh, in the interest of keeping the video reasonably brief. Kyle, uh, I'm going first, but I have a strategist lieutenant. Kyle, do you want to, want to run us through your deployment? Um, and then I'll go through mine and we'll start the game. Sure, no problem. So I'm going to go from my left to my right from yep. the blue end of the table. As you can see, I have six camouflage markers. Mm -hmm. I have three Morlocks. One here, one here, and one here. They yep. all have assault pistols, chain rifles, and AP close combat weapons. I have two pretty good hackers in this list. I have my Intervent Hacking Device Plus, and I have Jasmine Jazz Cato Kovas over here. I have two transductor zones, one here, one over here. They are repeating uh, flash pulse robots. I've got a war call on this building here. I've got Kreezer Borak with an HMG over here. I have a Daktari Doctor here with her Zonbot just beside Kreezer, mm -hmm. and a Engineer Clockmaker with his Zonbot. Uh, I have actually forgotten where I put him. He's over here next to my Transductor Zon over here. I have three Jaguar um, individuals scattered around on bodyguard duty with their yep. chain rifles and smoke grenades, and I have an Aguasil with a combi rifle parked over there. Okay. Um, for my part, I have, if we rotate the table around, uh, I have a hot mess of prone models, is what I have. Um, so back here is Salah Hadin. Um, he's guarded by a Fanus Flash Pulse remote. Um, we've then got a Ghazi Mutawia, a Nafatun Light Flamethrower, another Nafatun Light Flamethrower, another Nafatun Light Flamethrower, a Barid KHD, a Mukta who was forward deployed. She was Salad one of Saladin's reserve models. Uh, a Ghazi Mutawia over here, a Camille Baggage Bot here, um, another Nafatun, another Nafatun, another Nafatun. A Mukta MSV2 Red Fury, that's the second one of those. Uh, another Ghazi, another Ghazi, um, and then the fourth Ghazi is there. Uh, another Baggage Bot hanging out within 4 inches of the transmission antenna. A Bereed KHD, that's the second one of those. A Ghulam Forward Observer, and then an Authorized Bounty Hunter over here, one of the only standing models in the entire army, who has drawn an SMG and an Adhesive Launcher. We also have my HVT over here behind this crate, guarded by two Camouflage Markers. Um, I also finally have an impersonation marker who's just settled down here within four inches of this transmission matrix. Uh, we will decide, oh, she should be within four anyway. Yep, cool. We will decide at a later date uh, <laughs> if I want her to actually do anything or just be annoying. Um, other things to note, we have to pick data trackers. Um, my data tracker will be this Mukta over here. I have to declare first. Um, my data tracker will be Kreezer Borak. Fair enough. All right, um, so my combat groups. I have, uh, first combat group has 11 regular orders. It contains Saladin, the Impersonation Marka, the two Muktas. It contains the three Nafatun on this side. Um, it contains, and it contains all of the remotes. Uh, and then the other combat group, I will tell you now that at uh, the beginning of my turn, let's tint the color green. The th these three Nafatun are hollow echoes. And that the models are all within eight inches of one another. Um, so we have three hollow echoes, all of the Ghazi Matawia, both of the camouflage markers, both KHD Bereeds, the Ghulam, and the Authorized Bounty Hunter. That group is generating four regular, six irregular, and four extremely impetuous orders. Would you like to strip orders from a combat group? I would like to strip orders from combat group one, if you please. Makes sense. What I'll do is I'll just flip the lieutenant order and then down to nine. All right. Good luck. Sounds good. You too. Let's do some impetuous moves. So most models are just going to be running in like kind of a straight line. Um, so look, let's do this Ghazi Matawia. It's going to go an inch out to there and then three inches forward. I got a little bit funny, but there you go. Any AROs? I don't believe so. Um, it's not going to keep moving because I strongly suspect that's a mine. Uh, but what we will do is we'll throw a smoke grenade down to about there. Um, probably somewhere like that. Um, and is that within eight? It is. 
Does the smoke land? The smoke lands. Nice. The Mukta will be able to engage your Flash Pulse remote without fear of anything except an untimely crit. Something like that, I think. Okay, uh, this Gazi. Okay, so it's doing some funny things when you flip elevation, but we'll end up about there. Uh, any AROs? No. Probably not. Um, let's keep moving. I'm in line of fire, very obvious line of fire, of like these camouflage markers. But you can't declare discover in an impetuous order, so uh, as in like I can't discover, so there's no point in me trying to do anything about that. Um, this Garzi uh, is going to move. Just for reference, what seems to be happening is that the, um, the table is getting the, the tape measure. I think has been updated to work better across elevations, but it's um, it doesn't like it when you change elevations with the model mid move. Uh, second verse, same as the first. Any any um, orders you'd like to change? Take to no. move them up there. No. No arrows are cleared. Um, I think that mutt could safely advance, but let's... Well, we want smoke. No, you know what, let's, let's keep moving. <clears throat> no, yep, yeah, we declared it. So there. Nope. All right. And then that's... Uh, the last Gazi is... The one over here, who I think is just going to go four inches around to there. Um, and she's comfortable in her existence because her job is to guard Saladin. All right, cool. That's all of the impetuous. Sweet. Uh, let's spend an irregular order. And we are going to actually... Before we do that, let's just do the sensible thing. We're going to spend a regular order in combat group one. We're going to activate the Mukta. We're going to slide up to this cover and then out and around to see your Finoosh Flush Pulse remote in the distance. I don't think there's a line of fires. I don't think I can declare an arrow yet. Well, I will shoot you through smoke. I'm going to dodge. Makes sense. Range is unsurprisingly good at uh, 19 inches. Let's actually see. How does this... 19.1 because there's proper new snap to model. Um, so I'm looking for 13s, so you'll be looking for 7s. I fail. I hit you twice. Damage 13. Unconscious, Unconscious level 1. All right. Let's spend that irregular order now. And it's going to be on the three hollow echoes. They will activate and they will advance. So again, just going to stand straight up and go four. That's a bit far. Something like that. No arrow at this point. Yeah. This one has to be in slightly. Um, and this one's coming out and around, and then around to there. Cool, they will just keep moving. Okay, so four inches gets it over to there. Up to there, and up to there. Oh, probably something like that. We're getting borderline to an interesting event. Yep. I will spend a regular order, and I will activate them again. Uh, this one will go four inches over to there. To mine? Yep, cool, not surprised. <laughs> this one will go four inches around to there, and this one will go four inches around to there. Um, mm, so I the don't think... Yep, yeah, this is not real. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, did you want to check to see if this mine... Yeah, that's 8.1. That mine will detonate. I'm going to continue, um, continue activating and moving. This one is going to go four inches in this direction. Okay. And then this one is going to come <clears throat> four inches up to there. Probably something like that. Uh, no, there is fine. Cool. Um, so at that point, boom, this disappears and it has cleared out all of the mines. A good use of 
good use of them irregular and regular. I wanted to do that for ages, actually. Like the, <laughs> that, that that bashy ends up in those lists just so that I can be like, mutts can't dodge mines. Their fizz is crap. Okay, all right. Let's get back on with what we were doing. Let's spend a regular order in the first combat group. And this Mukta is just going to come up and over. Okay, this is getting funky. That's four inches. That has moved us into line of fire of this camouflage marker. I'm going to reveal I'm going to have a shoot shot. We'll, we'll cut two inches this way to end up out of line of fire. Yep. What's, what are you? Zero combi rifle. I'll fire my red fury at you. No problem. Uh, we've come inside of good range for both, and I'm in the open. Oh, uh, I'm also going to flash policy with a war core. I've forgotten he exists. <laughs> that's that's on me. Um, uh, would you like to reconsider your um, second party order? Um, no, I, I went ahead and I did it. Um, he really should probably have been... He, so he's been like stealth not arrowing against tons of Metalia and stuff, but that's okay. Um, so what I will do is... Jesus, yeah, I 100% forgot he existed. Um, I will put uh, one shot into the zero and three shots into the war core. Okay. Yep, okay. Uh, who would you like to do first? So I believe the zero, good range for my zero. Yeah, let's do that. For, good range for everyone. So yeah, against no the zero. Okay, let's do the zero. I have missed. I've hit on a one. I'll take my armor roll. She passes that. That's nice. And now three shots right. into the... War court. Yep, I've rolled an 11. A one. Damage right, 13, sir. Alright. I'll roll a second one. There you go. Blam. What's going on? Is this something wrong with my dice? Uh, it's showing up for me. Um, the numbers are coming up at the top of the table. Uh, yeah, three ones in a row. Okay, that's uh, it's possible. Well, let's just let's just see. Let's see let's roll a few dice. Roll Ten. You have another. You have a go. No, it's working. Yeah, there you go. Just, three rolls. Three ones in a row. Probably. All right. So the war yeah. correspondent is dead. Um, I will fail my guts roll and just punk her back. Actually, that would be me. I can't fail my guts because it would be getting me. Closer. Sorry, is he dead or unconscious? He's dead. It's shock ammunition. Oh, of course. All right, but she will she will just guts out of line of fire of the zero. Somewhere like that. Um, I will spend an irregular... Hmm. Okay, how do we want to do this? There's a couple of things that we want to accomplish. I'm also going to check the scenario scoring and see if... Does my data tracker have to live? No. All right, that's good news. Um, I think what we'll do now is we will coordinate a, an order in combat group two, the irregulars. We are going to coordinate three of the mutts. Yep, all of the mutts except this one and this camouflage marker. And the camouflage marker will be the spearhead. Okay. Um, I'm just, the map is very colourful, so I'm just trying to avoid lines of fire. Let's um, have this mutt come forward four inches. I don't think that moves into line of fire for everything, because all of your stuff is like very heavily prone. Yeah, I don't think there's anything at this time. Yeah, this mutt. Only things that are standing out for me uh, are this transductor on. Yep. And. That's about it. Now. And this, this, this unconscious transductor on, yep. so that's and it. This, and this zero. Yep. And, it, and the camera markers. And the markers, yeah. So this transductor zone's got a line sort of like down towards this this crate here. Yeah, it's, it's fairly also limited. got a pretty okay line, it looks like, to this crate here and maybe through to there. Do you think it yeah, can that's, see... That's, that's generous. Yep. That's generous. It can definitely see like here. Sure, yeah. I think it yeah. can see past the crate to like that tab there. Let me, let me get the laser out. Yeah, go for it. It, it, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't like the three-dimensional terrain we've got going. Does it? No. Uh, let me go into top. Uh, down. I'll, I'll do this. This is straightforward. I think you're okay. I think there is a line there. Yeah, there is. So there's a. It's got a pretty, pretty, um, pretty spicy line actually, all the way up through to there, which is interesting. Okay, so we'll keep moving. And what I'm going to do totally is just plain, move. by the way. Hmm? What was that? 
Totally, totally planned. <laughs> um, we're going to keep moving. Okay. Um, four inches. This one just wants to not move into line of fire if that transductor's on. So it's sure. probably somewhere like there. I think. Before it enters line of fire. Um, and this one's going to move this direction. Uh, oh, sorry, that was the... I think I've done two short skills there. So she needs to keep moving. <clears throat> yeah, so she, that's two moves from her. Okay, I, I screwed that up. What did we do? So she, one short skill to there, him, one short skill to there, him, one short skill to there, and the Libertos. I mean, it could be a... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The what? And then we'll just keep moving, and she'll move up to there. That shouldn't be in line of fire of anything. No, it might be, actually. Let's stay out of line of fire of that zero. Because he'll have a line. Yeah, he will. Let's keep her around there, then. Oh. This one can just move up to there. Um, this one can... That's into there. And then this one, if it moves any further, it'll be walking through a flash pulse arrow. Okay, cool. Um, let's spend an irregular order on this Gazi. And it's just going to poke its head out, poke its head back, and throw a smoke grenade. Okay. And it'll throw the smoke grenade down to there. Nice and easy. Should easily be within eight. Yep. Does it land? It does. Oh, yep, there we go, a four. Um, that will let the Mukta activate, and so she'll spend a regular order. Um, and she will go six inches up, around, and over to there. Mm -hmm. Which will be in smoke the entire time, and will coincidentally okay. have walked into zone of control, I believe, of your zero. Yep. I... Ah, uh, yes. Hmm, so I got it either dodge change facing or not arrow. Yep, uh, you had better change yeah. facing. Yeah, dodge change facing. I'll do that. She'll, I was gonna want to lay a mine, but I can't. Yeah, you can't. She'll shoot you from like back here, so she's got good range. Sure. Um also so that she's trying to get good range. I don't think she ever does. I think she gets she's seven inches at the closest there. Um so she's looking for tens because she didn't get inside good range and you have cover. Two sevens? A 10 is not a success on a change facing unless they Next are... three. Yeah, it's not a success. Fizz 12. Yep. Two hits. Okay. You've got cover against that. Two is not going to do it. No, you're dead. Uh, she's going to activate again. Mm hmm And she's going to move... Up and around to there. <clears throat> I believe that will be in zone of control of the Zonbot, Kreezer, and yep. Morlock. I don't think she can see any of them. They're all prone. Yeah, um, they'll dodge change facing there. She can see the hazmat and she will shoot it. Okay. Now, it's a. She can shoot or dodge, I believe. Absolutely, yes. Those are her two. So she'll dodge. Makes sense. I will have good range for this one. Have at. These are all hits. 15 is the highest. Eight. Okay. So you cancel two of my hits to get through. What's what's the uh, fizz of the uh, HVT? HVT. That crit then? Uh, no, this wasn't a change facing. I was just shooting you. I never got within eight. Ah, oh, right. So it's neg six. No, uh, no, no. No, uh, there's no penalty. Eight's just a success. Oh, no penalty. Balls. Okay. Very good. All right. So how many... Uh, Wounds was it? How many uh, armor rolls? Uh, two hits. You cancelled the other two. Okay. Dead. Dead. All right. I'll just make sure her facing is good. We will come back to her. Um. We also should check. I have, for reference, moved within eight inches of this repeater. If you would okay. like to take an arrow. I cannot. I don't think I have any hackers within any any of the zones of control. And uh, so any of the repeaters. Remember that this transmission antenna is a repeater for both of us, which means that my Mukta has just moved into your hacking area. So okay. if you have Can you explain a... to me, list exactly how 
I'm you're in the hacking area. Um, so Which are my models? This transmission, this transmission antenna is one of your repeaters. It's also one of my repeaters. Oh, the Mukta oh. has moved within eight, just barely, but she has. So oh, I see. ARO against I her. thought what that meant was that it's like a neutral repeater, and if you move one of your hackers into range, then you're like part of the network, and, and then you're uh, the no, 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 no. So it's like, okay, right, I misunderstood that part. That would actually be a much cooler way to do the scenario, where if you have a hacker in that repeater, it becomes a repeater for your team, and that's the only way it becomes a repeater. I thought that's how it worked. There you go. It's not. The, game, the, the transmission matrix is a hot mess of hacking because of that reason. Um, so no, you get, you get a, a hacking ARO against my Mukta. Um, there is no... ARO you have that can affect it directly, but there is at least one ARO you have that might inconvenience it. Okay. Um, all right. So Mukta is hackable, is it? It's not. Oh, right. Okay. In that I'm, case, I'm yeah, of course, I'm going to white, no yeah. <laughs> white noise here. Yeah, right. Okay. Thought you might so I, okay. 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 I, I didn't understand. I thought, yeah, yeah, you like, explained to me before. Yeah, yeah, it's repeater for both sides. Yeah, I understand. I understand. No, 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 no. Repeater as in like you always have connection. Yeah. Okay. Right, right, right. I'm going to white noise. Yep. Where would you like to white noise? I would like to white noise. What's a likely target for you? Yeah, I would just I would just chuck it down over whatever you want to make sure survives 100%. So yep. okay. you could you could put it down over the like Kreza Borak. I would be Yeah, very I mean, annoyed at that actually, but I will do that. That's that seems like a wise choice. I'll do that. I'm going to attempt yeah. to White noise and the crease of Borak. Yep, go for it. Success. I succeed. All right. There so, is now white we, noise. Yeah, I'll just bear in mind that's a template. Whoopsie daisy. Cool. Actually, if you if you have it black, it makes a pretty good white noise template, right? Yeah, nice. Did you lock that? Uh, I must have. Because I was about to lock the the um the guys underneath it. Ah, uh, okay, cool. We'll just we know we know where it is. It's over them. Um, it's a black noise template. So <laughs> some interesting things, um, now that you're aware of this, I actually tried to place my mutts, my mutts, like some of them just inevitably were inside under control of a transmission area. You could have gotten ARO's from that. And that would have made life pretty nasty. Um, the only thing that you, you wouldn't have been able to do with your, um, was put a, a white noise over your HVT because she was too far away from any of your repeaters without a Miranda in the midfield. But, uh, I think that's a good choice that you've made to put it down there. The other option is well, I fundamentally it. misunderstood. So I had no hackers inside the yeah. range of the repeaters, assuming that they were like neutral repeaters uh, and not, yeah. not. Yeah, okay. We should submit that yeah. as feedback because that would be a cool change to the scenario. We need to like, claim them in some way. Well, I thought it'd be like a like a like a like a free for all like network, but anyway, it doesn't matter. That's uh, there you go. That's okay. my bad. All right. Well, we've learned something. Um, how am I doing for orders? I have got five left in that combat group, um, and two and some irregulars left in the other. We should kill that transductor zond. I think we might take the face-to-face -face roll without smoke on this, because it's not the end of the world if I lose one eventually. Um, look, let's first activate the um, Mukta, and we're just going to declare a discover shoot against this camouflage marker. Would you like to ARO? Because I declare discover, that doesn't generate an ARO, but declaring shoot subsequently does. I would like to... If you dodge prone, you'll get out of line of fire completely. Yeah. Um, I'm discovering you on 14s. Pretty good. Yeah, I'll dodge. Yeah. What is the model? Zero. Zero. Minor? Yeah. Um, I will. I will crank in with the uh, the red fury. Right. Um, you rolled a one. Yeah. Again. <laughs> you cancel yeah. my one. I hit you. Uh, hit you twice. Okay. Lives. Ah, uh, guts prone. Pretty good. Guts prone. Absolutely. All right. Um. And that means this is a Libertos, almost certainly. Okay, that's fine. Um. We're going to spend an irregular order on this Garzi Matoia. And she's going to activate 
and go two around to there, two around to there, and then she's just going to wedge herself up in there like so. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to, if you'd like to adjust, she probably only gets about that far. If you'd like to adjust to the um, white noise at any point, these will be generating arrows. Uh, this might uh, pull back with its irregular and ended up prone there. It had spent before. Um, well, while you're thinking yeah, about that... Yeah, I might put white noise over the Mukta over the for now. Yeah, fair enough. Cool. Yeah. Go for the roll. Success. Says, yeah. um, this mutt is just going to move, I think, prone... To there. Uh, that will be through line of fire of this transductor on because I haven't gotten rid of it yet. Yeah, sure. I'll um, I'll flash. I, I mean, for the sake of it, I'll throw a face to face roll. I'll throw my smoke down. Um, where do I want it? Yeah, there. I'll throw my smoke down there. Mm -hmm. um, that is in good range, but this is face to face. A nineteen is a fail. So you hit. Uh, BTS roll. It's stunned. No smoke. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Um, I will spend a regular order. I will activate the Mukta. And we will come around up to cover, leaving the white noise. And if we move up to there, does that give us line of fire to the flash pulse remote? I don't think it does. So we're just going to have to like slide backwards, backwards this way and just not be in cover. Yeah, no, I think okay. I think you've got this really narrow line like up there. So mm -hmm. there's no way for me to get cover until I like start getting around to here. Sure. So I have to just take this uh in the open. Yeah, no worries. She probably gets to about there. Six inches. Oh no, she's got a bit more. Uh ARO flash pulse remote? Yeah, flash pulse is going to yeah, flash pulse will flash pulse. I'm also gonna to attempt to move the Black Emma. noise over here. Uh, yeah, yep, into the, the zone of this transmission antenna. All right, um, I will fire at the flash pulse remote. Yep. Uh, okay. 14 will be a miss. Uh, 10's a hit. What's the 10? Uh, for the flash pulse. Oh, so you did the white noise first. Oh, yeah, sorry. I did hit with the white noise. Okay, cool. So um, uh, you've beat me in the face-to-face the -face roll. I'll roll a BTS roll. Uh, I fail. She'll fail her guts. And go prone to there. Okay, cool. All right. Um, we will spend a regular order in the first combat group, second, sorry, the second combat group, and we will put this Bashi Bazook. Reveals it. It's a Bashi Bazook. Uh, it's a Bashi Bazook with submachine gun. 12 points. And it'll go into suppressive fire. Like so. Uh, I will then spend an irregular order in the first combat group. And we will move this Libertos four inches up to there, just not into line of fire. This um, thing. And we will reveal ourselves to be a Libertos and we will place a mine. It's a Libertos mine layer. Surprise of no one. Uh, and then I will spend the last regular order in that combat group, the last regular order, yep, to move up to here, and then we might do this prone, actually, if we should have enough movement. No, we'll do it standing. Up to there, and then around to there. Okay, uh, uh, flash pulse will yeah, flash. Just, just to see the flash pulse remain. Okay. Cool, I will... We want to do this, something like that is what we want. Um, I will accept the flash pulse and lay my last mine. Okie dokie. So unopposed flash pulse, I do have cover. It's a miss. Okay. So this mine is going down. There. And what we've aimed for is that this one will have a hard time detonating immediately. Um, but that's okay. All right, so we've got an irregular order left in that combat group. It belongs to this mutt. We'll come back to her. 
Um, let's spend a regular order and we'll activate the stunned Mukta. And she's just going to go... Where is she going to go? Problem is, is you can drop white noise on her as long as she's anywhere near that transmission antenna. Actually, in active, you probably can't. <laughs> That's considerably more difficult. So she's just going to come around to there. And she'll hold her position. And then I have one more, so I have spend another order. What are we going to spend it on? Let's go back. Two orders in that combat group. This Mukta can't really do anything else. Um, I've got my mutts positioned as best I can. I think it behooves me to activate this Mukta. But whereabouts does she go? What I don't want to do is fight the Kreezer. Um... We may not have a choice. Let's do this. We'll activate. Oh. I've got. So what I'm thinking is I actually put a prone up here in suppressive fire, but it's like the, the risk. The do I think you will? Do I think you will risk activating white noise with that interventor? You will absolutely cop it. <laughs> you will cop it in the ghoulies if you do. Because I've got two KHDs. It would not be a face-to-face -face roll. It would be a normal roll. That's correct. Um, so do I need the interventor again is the yeah. next question. I don't think she's your lieutenant. I think that Alguacile is. Um, I didn't do an SWC count, though. Let's see. Cruz of Borak is I don't know how many. Um, I can tell you. It's open information. Uh, it's it's not actually the SWC cost of models is not open and I if if I knew I mean it's obvious but it is though you looked at his loadout you yeah. tell exactly what it is. he's a HMG Kreezer Boric what's he two SWC he's in it. two yeah and then you've got you spent um one on what I assume is a Lobotos puts you at three the zeros are each a half puts you at four um Jazz is a half puts you at four and a half the Interventor is a half puts you at five that's all of the SWC stuff I think I can see which would accommodate a one SWC Alguacilo. Um, can I shoot? Where is the Alguacilo? Where is he? He's back. He's back here. Can I get him? No, I can't. Maybe next turn. Next time, Gadget. Let's... Two orders puts us with an, a Mukta and other models in Suppressive Fire, kind of wherever I would like. So it really is a question of where would I like? What do I want? What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of the Kreezer. Not unreasonably, I feel. And... What else is in the combat group with your Morlocks? Uh, Daktari, Clockmaker, Warcore, now dead, Transductor Zen, Zon, now unconscious, and the other Transductor Zon. Okay, so they've got some orders, but they're not going to, like, buckaroo banzai me. Well, they might. So the Kreezer is the big how's your mother threat. Um, let's activate the Mukta. Let's put her around here. This, I think, is sort of the best position for defending against the kind of threat she's actually likely to engage. We will have her standing there. So she's just nudged in against that cover. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Uh, and then last regular order in that combat group will be a coordinated order down to two command tokens. It's going to be coordinate suppressive. Um, and we will coordinate, unsurprisingly, this Mukta. Um, this Nafatun. This Nafatun. They're in the same combat groups. Um, <clears throat> we could do the third Nafatun, or we could do Saladin, or we could do the Fide, but we're not going to. Um,
and this Nafatun. So all of the Nafatuns and that one Mukta go into Suppressive. I'd love to have this one in, but you stunned her with the War Correspondent. Um, and then I just have this Metawia. Where does she want to go? You've got the Creaser and a bunch of Warbands. I think I've, I've pulled, and then like a couple of Skirmishers. Um, that I'm hoping I can do some damage to. I don't want a Command Token anything. It's like I could spend a Command Token and I could have this Libertos take a... I could, sh I could shotgun a Jaguar in the back. That would be like literally it. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to waste the command token. They're relatively valuable. Uh, so I will I will activate it. I will spend it on this Metawia, but she's just going to move prone around to here so that she's in a good position to um, defend any, like... Well, actually, look, let's get it back to there. She's in a good position to defend any s strange and sketchy attacks on Saladin. And that'll be it. That's my go. Your turn. No worries. Cool. Let's check it out. Thank you, Doc. <clears throat> what do I have? Oh, at the, at the beginning of your turn. Yeah. Uh, this Bashi Bazook, not being a line of fire of an enemy, re enters the Hollow Echo state. Okay. Moving herself around to there. I have to make sure they all stay in base contact. <clears throat> so we now have three Bashi Bazooks in suppression fire. I'll just put one token down. Okie dokie. Hmm. All right, impetuous phase. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's go this one, six and all two. Mm -hmm. Stands up, and the nearest model is going to be either the Mukta or the Mukta. I think it's the Mukta. Yep. Uh, let's okay. Uh, let's take I a think look. It's the yeah. Mukta, yeah, I think it's Mukta as well. Okay. Um, that's it. The way. Four okay. inches. Yep. Yep. I will shoot with the Mukta and I will lay in a shotgun with the Libertos. Um, I will also check other arrows, but I don't think I have any. I do not. Okay. I'm going to assault pistol the Mukta. Makes sense. Well, four shots against you. I don't think it's good range, but it doesn't matter. It's at uh, 9 point, 9 9.8. Okay. So I've got cover and. Cover and Mimetism. Okay, so Nig 6 uh, against my uh, BS11, so I want 5s. 4 shots on 5s is like, not actually that bad. 2. Alright, so I need a 16, but I can easily just whiff this. I don't, so damage, uh, damage 13. Okay. Do they have armor? I think they do. I'm a one. Yep. Hey! I'll, uh, I'll right. take the Libertos shotgun shot. Ah, never in doubt. Let's have a look at the range. That's within 16. Take your damage 13. Yep. <laughs> Libertos does it. 
Good lad. It's unconscious. Where's the unconscious one? Oh, I think this uh, this Metawia might... I don't think she was in line of fire, actually. I suspect the Libertos was in uh, in the way. Okay, dokie. All right, uh, let's do this one. Yep, closest Oops. to him will definitely be the, uh, um, the Libertos. Okay, uh, straightest line will be this way. Yeah, um, no arrows to that, nothing can see. Understood. All right. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to idle second part of the order, uh, and then we're going to go this one here. So it's going to be Libertos for sure. It is straightest line. It's going to be like this. Here we are. So uh, the Libertos will. What are you? That's no winning capacitation one. Um, is indeed. Yep. The Libertos will shotgun. Okay. Uh, actually, the Libertos will. Shotgun you when you're at this point here, so that the template splashes the transductors on. Okay. And this mine will detonate, and it's going to try and detonate in a way that clips that um, zero. By sort of going down like like that, if that makes sense. Sure. Um, and I suspect this mine... I tried to get the Libertos in the way, but the way you've moved, I suspect this mine also detonates. Um, yeah, it can get around the Libertos. So both both mines go up in a go up in a tizzy. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, assault pistol the Libertos. Yeah. Um, cool. All right. So do you want to just take your two saving throws against the mines? Sure. Loves it. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, when you declare a assault pistol, this the Metalia will jam. So I'll do the unopposed jam. Okay. It'll succeed, so take a BTS roll. BTS is zero. Yep. So you're fine there as well. The mm -hmm. shotgun shot. This is face to face. Ah, oh, I, I crit? I crit. Are you serious? Uh, I rolled a 17. You don't have cover. I am BS11, and it's a shotgun. Yes. There you go. Um, so you have no wound incapacitation, so you just take a wound, so you're fine. Mm -hmm. um, you're not jammed, <laughs> so you're not jammed, you take both <laughs> mine hits, you do get slammed by the shotgun, um, and what you'll need is the transductor zone will need to take an armor roll from the... Uh... It doesn't suffer the effects of the crit, but it obviously doesn't get to dodge. Ten's not going to be very good. It's, it's out, yep. And it's uh, unconscious. Did we clip... I don't know if we clipped the Zond bot. Let's say... Well, let's see how big that template is. It's eight and a half. Yeah, both of them were easily in. It's just a question of who the Zombot would be hiding behind that crate, basically, because he's very small. I think he is hiding behind the crate. Yeah, he's fine. Um, and then one mine that hits the zero. I oh, did it. Okay, there you go. Just, just. The... Uh, sure. Ouch! He's dead. So he shocks out. Shock ammunition. I, I'm. Honestly, I'm not even mad about that. That's like <laughs> <laughs> just just two what, mines. What, what? what was it we were talking about before? That a high explosive propels a. It's not the explosion that kills you. It's the cloud of shrapnel. And the Morlock is just it's like the oh, one. it's it's the explosion. She's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, <clears throat> I'm going to do some things. Mm -hmm. So I've got sent my impetuous. Don't like your Mukhtar. Metalbias need to go as well. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to spend irregular order on. No winning cap, Morlock. Yep. And it's going to move. Um, it's going to move this way. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the Libertos will chain cult it. Um, the Mutawia will chain rifle it. Um, mm -hmm. And if you declare an action, this Mutawia will jam it. I don't think I have any other arrows. Okay, I'm going to uh, chain rifle the both of them. Sure. All right. Um, armor roll for so it's just a bunch of armor rolls then. Um, so two, two, yeah. and then one each for mm -hmm. my guys. Sure. At least pass both of these. Okay, the menace is ended. Um, <laughs> so my Libertos fails, and my mutt passes. Uh, the Libertos will enter the dogged state. God damn it. Alrighty. Um, the mutt will guts are prone mm -hmm. out of the template down to there. Sure. This is um this is what I would call an aggressive defense on my part. Sure, yeah. Mm. I suppose it's putting the to the test the uh, best defense is a good offense. I don't know. All right, I'm going to wake up Kreezer. Wakey, wakey. Yep. And he's gonna uh, stand up, and move over here, looking at uh, Mukta. She'll shoot. Um... Uh, the Libertos will be the only other thing that can see, and I, I'll fire a shotgun at you. Um, will I? Sure. Yeah, I'll fire a shotgun at you. Okay. Kablam. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll do one shot against the Libertos, and the other four against the Mukta. Against the Mukta. All right, so we're at 13 inches on the Mukta, and um, 17 on the Libertos, but you did move. You started right next to the, uh, Zaktar, the Zonbot, right? So you began the movement kind of like here. So I can be good range against the Libertos. Yep. And okay range against Mukhtar. Yeah, no, so what I'm just checking is because the Kreezer like stood up. He stood up from here and then he moved to his current position. Correct. Yep. So the Libertos will, will have a shot at him as soon as he stands. Yep, sure, um, sure. Just so that it's slightly better. Uh, which one would you like to do first? Well, let's do Libertos first. Right. I don't think I have cover from you on that angle and it's in good range. So you need a s 16. So it's good range for me. I'm a yep. BS thirteen, not in cover, yeah, sixteen. Yep. Alright, so I a am in a man. zero range, but you have cover and full auto, so I need a five. Ah, Alright, armor roll. He holds his position. There you um, go. And now you've got three shots into the Mukta. She's got four. one shot into you. Ah, four, four yep, four. yep, full auto. I forget that a lot. For it. So uh, you're in cover, and I have mimetism. Mimetism negative six, so I'm on sevens, four on sevens, and I'm on tens. Uh, you beat me on a two. She takes an armor roll. She's okay, but she's gonna die if she stays there. So she will go prone around to there. The uh, funny random number generator today. Uh, that is how randomness works. But yes, yeah, there's been. It's like a two. You win. Oh, I do. No, no, but like, yeah, anyway. A lot of ones, yes. A lot of ones, a lot of nineteens. You just roll three nineteens in most. I, this is more armor saves than I. I think I made in the entirety of our last game. Alrighty, that's cool. Let's have a look. What next? I have, this is entirely your fault, I've had the Coffin Dance, the Astronomia song, stuck in my head for like <laughs> five days. It is a great, It's actually, small a, it's track. actually a cracking song, like just a piece of music. It is. 
All right, let's go for it. Uh, Carlotta is going to make an appearance. Ah, Ms. Kowalski. With, Mar with Mariety, Mariety yeah. over here. Okay, all right. Uh, she's going to appear here. Oh, that's, yeah, I'll put it here. Oh, yeah, the Matawi is right there. Um, I can't jam Moriarty, just for reference. Well, it's, you know, well, yeah. either we can play we can play strictly or I'll go, oh, yeah, yeah no, I should have known that was there. Good. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. Okay. It's easy to come in. Um, I don't think I have any AROs in response to that. There's a... Yeah, no, there's... There's nothing. Okie dokie. Um, what combat group? Group two. Uh, two. Group two. So she spent her own order to appear. I've spent a regular order to activate her now. Mm -hmm. And she is going to move. Okay. Let's just uh, move that bridge. We can bridge. probably just delete that. We'll move it over here. Yeah. And Mariety will do the same. Don't think I have any valid AROs. Walk it up. Um, then she's going to. Um, she's going to run the gauntlet with some jamming. Now let's put it right this way. Second movement out to here. We will, at that point, we will try and have this mutt. Um, okay. Drop, drop the jam. Sure. That's in line of fire. I think yep. she might also have moved into line of fire of my my HVT. Oh, <laughs> she did. Right. Um, the HVT will declare alert to let this Mukhtar change its facing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, so I'll just do the Mukhtar's change facing. Mm -hmm. It succeeds. It's just going to turn. So it's not... Like, there we go. Um, and then the jam. So, unopposed jam from the Mukta. Fails. Okie dokie. I can't really complain about that. Yeah, which is better? A chain, a chain, what do you call it? The combi rifle or the adhesive launcher? What is she trying to do? Take out Mukta. In this distance, the HVT is too far away. It's 100% really, too much. the combi rifle. You reckon? Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, oh, 16. yeah, three, you true. Yeah, it represents a mobility yep. kill, but it's also best one. Yeah, yeah, fair point. Okay, let's uh, activate again. And she's going to try and set herself up for success in the future. She's going to move towards uh, getting in line of fire of the Mukhtar and also try to get in some cover, but. Um, yeah, what you can probably do oh. is move up to like this crate here and then come out and around. Yeah, I reckon that'll do it. I mean, she's... Uh, I should have measured. She was right next to Mariety, so let's measure it properly. So, four inches between there. That's, that's in line of fire of the Mukta. Okay. And the... Yeah, Mariety just follow around. Yep. Um, so, we will jam with this Matawia. We will throw uh -huh. smoke with this Matawia. Uh -huh. We will shoot with the Mukta. Um, okay. We will check to see if you've walked through the suppression fire, but I don't think you have. Come on, don't muck me about. Nope, you're good. That's not walk through any suppression fire or there. So those are the only arrows. Oh, and I'll, I will i guess I'll dodge with the Tarika, my rank counselor. Roger. Okay, I'm going to combi rifle Mukta. All right. Uh, range is good for both. Yep. Um, does Carlotta have mimetism or anything? She's just a BS, just oh, BS 13. No, armor 2 is the only thing that she has. BS 13, which is right. pretty good, actually. Uh, Mukta will shoot. Did that roll first. All right. So mimetism, so I'm looking at uh, 13s, I guess. Looking at 13s, yep, I got a 9. Pretty good score. 3 on 13s, 3 ones. Ooh. Ooh, 9 beats my score. 18. No, 6. Oof. So she shocks out. Gosh, all right. Um, I will just take the unopposed smoke through. And it succeeds. So the, the Matawia is going to throw smoke down like that. Alrighty. 
Okie dokie. I think there might so have been... still there, but it's quite dogged. There might have been a better way for you to approach all of that, I think. Um, yeah? And it was probably to come up this angle up here. Uh -huh. And then slide out and around. Now, I don't know if it would have oh. actually saved you as the dice rolled, but there's a couple of things you can do. Firstly, you can use Moriarty to prompt the, like, to, to tease out the Matawia arrows, just to get a little right. further forward. Right. Eh? You could feasibly also have, on that last order, run, Mata run Moriarty into <laughs> melee with the jammer. Sure. While you took the fight against the Mukhtar from cover. Now, it wouldn't have changed that my roll be roll roll, and it wouldn't have changed your armor save, but it would have made the odds mm. a little better in your favor. Interesting. And it would also have tied the Matawia up if you'd managed to, like, if everything else had survived. But yeah, right. My, um, I've, as long as that order's neutral, because I was concerned that at any any second, uh, Carlotta was going to get jammed. So yeah. she had to get everything done straight away. Yep, makes sense. Or she was likely to not be able to receive any orders. Yeah, understand. Okay, you Um. Da, 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 da. Irregular order on Smallock. Mm -hmm. Four inches to here. Yeah, no arrows. Four inches to here. No arrows. Oh, just watch the distance on that. Like, you know this is a mine. Yeah, I know. So let's just really carefully... You want to just uh, back, that, got... back that Morlock up slightly? Well, should have got cop, should have cop on there. So there you go. Uh, all right. So, okay. I actually find it really tricky to... I always... um. I think things are shorter distances, than, longer distances than they actually are. Mm -hmm. I... I for the life of me, I was like, oh no, she's fine. And then you actually like, no, actually, that's seven point something. All right. Uh, she's going to spend a regular order and she's going to then move this way. Yep. The mine so will go off. The mine will detonate. And she's going to dodge. Um, I will reveal the. This Bashi Bazooka is real and it will fire in suppressive fire at you. Okay. I don't think I have any other arrows. Yeah, she's going to dodge. Okay. Go for it. Hoping for a 13. No. Succeeds. Um, so I'm at 13 inches, so I need 11s for the Bashi Suppressive Fire. I'll fire Armor Piercing Rounds. Uh, a 10 Two and hits. a 6. Nah, no, she's hit. Unconscious. Okie dokie. And the mine is gone. The bash is obviously meant to be up against the thing. There we go. Uh, is the Libertos is prone or is standing up? He's standing. Okay. He's going to die at the end of turn, but he'll make his life. I know that, just I'm thinking of moving my Jaguar around and the Burdos will shoot him. It will, yes. Nah. Earn your pay, Creaser. Let's go. Uh, Creaser advances forwards four inches. I, oh, it there. Uh, I think yeah. the only line of fire along that one is this bounty hunter in the way back distance. Uh, okay. And there is some smoke there, but basically... And the Libertos. Oh, and the Libertos. Um, you can use, if you'd like to, you could use the smoke to stay in between yourself and the bounty hunter. 
Um, yeah, let's do that. So just slide yourself very slightly to your left. Yeah. Uh, the Libertos will fire a shotgun. Okay, I'll five shots against the Libertos. All right. Come on, Libertos. It's at bad range. Many things are bad about this. The one is a hit. <laughs> Uh, I was looking cancels your for... one. Does not cancel the other four attacks. <laughs> uh, a veritable hail of bullets later, and the Libertos, who is given his life absolutely valiantly, is dead. Okay, Doc. Uh, activate Cruiser again. Yep. Would you like it? to be in line of fire the bounty hunter? You know what? Why, why not? Yes, I would. Okay. Um, this mutt will throw some smoke just to protect us. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the bounty hunter will fire his acrylate cannon at you. Oh, yeah, righto. Um, yeah, okay. I'll do uh, two against the mutt, three against the bounty okay. hunter. Yep. I don't actually think the bounty hunter, he sort of he meant to, but I'm not sure he has cover at that. Let's have a look. I'm not convinced he has cover from that angle. That's a bit of a misplay on my part. Um, we're at 31 inches. We are, so both in good range. Um, what would right, you like to do first? Let's do Mutt. So Mutt is going to be... Uh, good range for me. Yep, all right. So you're on 16s. I'm on 12s because the full auto penalty definitely applies. Girls are four. Uh, two hits. Uh, she passes neither. She dies. That's okay. She was... She was good at her job. Um, and then the bounty hunter. I'm looking for... You'll be looking for 16s. I'll be looking for 12s. That's a miss. That's three hits. Freezer, I rolled one too many saves here, but I don't think it will matter. At least two of those are fails. I'll just, um, what I'll do is I'll just re-roll one. And this okay. is the difference between alive and totally dead. Okay, so he's unconscious. Okay. Activate Freezer. Don't think there's anything else around. Um, it's going to get mutt, going to get Reese I will jam. jam him with two different mutts. Okay. Uh, in that stealth. case, I'm going... I don't think so. He does not have stealth. No. Uh, but he is going to use the second part of his order. He's going to... Probably going to get... Uh, no, he wants to be able to still do stuff. You can reset against jamming, can't you? Yep. Yeah, he's going to reset. Okay. I'll just do burst two on this because there's two different months. Uh, Twelve and a four. Uh, so two 18. hits. 18 is a fail. So BTS 6, what's the damage on a jammer? 13. 13. So I'm looking for uh, 13 minus 6 is 7, so I'm looking for 8 or higher. Correct. Two eights or higher. Two sixes, he's jammed. Okay. Um, so now you've taken a BTS roll. You can attempt to leave the danger area. Um, so move, say, two inches yeah, back. Yeah, I'll do so. that. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Okay. Activate Jaguar. Mm -hmm. Move to there. Yep, no arrows. Yep. Just keep moving. Yep. Uh, no arrows, I assume. Oh, you're good. Move again. Getting you're close to stealth. jam range. Oh, well, you've got stealth, so. Yeah, got true. All right. Then I'll move again. Yep. Then I'll activate him again. And. 
Oh. So if you get to here, you can vault over that box. You can, yep. Can you fit over to in that range though? So 2.2 to move to there. And then it's... About another one. I think you'd be short of getting all the way over into melee with the... Mukhtar. Mukhtar, because you started back here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so no, all right. no arrows. Assuming that okay. you're not intentionally baiting out or like trying to move or anything. Yeah, so that's the first part of my order. Um, could I have... Yeah, all right, what I'll do... So... I will... There's a much line of fire that is like... 2.2, so I've got 1.8 left, so I'll move out to, to get the mutt okay, from sure. there. Yep. Um, the mutt will... What will the mutt do? Uh, well, so that will also move into line of fire. So this is, hang on, this is your first short skill? Oh, true. The, the Mukta can see through the smoke, of course. Can, yes. Uh, in that case, I'll do not do that. Yep, cool. I'll just hang there and be in stealthy. Yeah, yep. no arrows. Okay. And I'll spend, I'll, I'll not spend the second part of order. Yep. I'll move. I'll definitely be able to get close combat now. Yep. In Here I am. Um, let's have a look at the Mukhtar's stats. The Mukhtar is CC14, which means her best chance of success is to fire her pistol at you at close range as you move in. Um... This mutt okay. will, assuming that you declare an attack, this mutt will jam. And yep. I'm just having a look to see. I think this mutt will fire his chain rifle at you. Okay. I'm going to uh, do a CC attack against the Mukhtar. I have martial arts level 2 in CC 21 and a uh, yeah, double action you. close weapon. All right. Yep. Cool. So her, she's uh, BS 13. Her plus 3 for range gets cancelled by your... Um, Martial arts, so she's she's BS thirteen against your CC twenty one. She rolls a four, which can strictly speaking beat you. Nope, that's a crit. She'll also make a saving throw against your second against the. So she dies. She just goes straight to dead off of two um, extremely tasty. Uh, oh, um. Two extremely tasty uh, DA hits. Um, mm -hmm. So I will also roll the jam. So you'll need to make a jam save and a save from getting shot by the Metalia with this chain rifle. Five is not a success. So you're isolated. And isolated, I'll grab the token. And armor roll. See if the armor. Oh, yeah, 17, that doesn't passes. mind. It. And that's pretty significant because you are more points than a Metalia. That's a that is a that's a nice save on the turn actually. Alrighty. Well, how many orders do you have left? One. Negative orders left. Well, I can't spend it on the Jaguar, unfortunately. Yep. Um, Isolated. I'm not sure you can do anything about this, but for reference, this 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 uh, impersonation marker is mm -hmm. definitely inside four inches of this transmission antenna. Sure. Sure. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to act out my clock make. Ah, oh, it's group two. I'm going to spend a command coordinate order and turn this irregular order into regular and use it on my clock maker. Oh, you, yep. Can I spend a command token. Yep, gotcha. Move into base contact with my transductor zone. Yep, fix the thing. And attempt to fix it. Stain's not a success. So it's now structured unconscious level two. You could reroll if you would like. Oh yeah. Do I get to have to spend another order? Don't another I? Which command I can't token. Do. Okay, I'll do that. And you succeed. Succeed. So he's now Back up. conscious. Yep. Uh, what order? Group one. Yeah, is the impersonation mark within 10 inches? Makes a question. Within 10? Yeah. What's that relevant? So, for? well, if I blocked him in. So I was thinking of using transductors on to be cheeky and block in the impersonation marker. Oh, yeah. You, um, you can't move. Yeah, yeah you, could, you could put it there and it would lock me in from moving. Yeah, I'll try that. I'll see if it's within 10 inches. 12 inches, right? Oh. 12? Oh, it's 6'6", six, six, is it? Yeah. Oh, I definitely get it. Well, yeah, it's it's totally gonna make that. I reckon. Go for it. I'm. This is is this your last order of the turn? 
Yeah. Oh, I should, maybe I should just press it fire or something, hey? Yeah, I should do that. I was say, like, also, <laughs> I, I could just shoot you. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, forget that. Um, uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to spend... I can't use Crazy Borak because he's isolated, isn't he? Correct. Get... Yes. Excuse me. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's good to be undamaged anyway. Nice flash pulse bot. <clears throat> yeah, that's my turn. Your turn. All right. Um, well, you've got the you've got the order. You don't want to activate either of your hackers, probably. Um, to do what? As in, you you don't want to because the face to face roll would not be. Um, you converted an irregular order that I assume belonged to that camouflage marker. Yeah, no, fair enough. Like, you could reposition this Jaguar if you wanted to. That would be the only... I was thinking thing. about that, but like you said, you could always pull out the Fede's gun. Here's and what you should it... probably do. You should probably move the Transductor Zond around to see the impersonation marker, and if I don't ARO, take a flash, take a discover roll against me. Oh, yeah, fair point. All right. Got, got the order, so you cool. may as well. I'll do that. There uh, he is. Ooh, up onto the thing? Yeah. Okay. Um... That's very easy for me to kill next turn with like Mukdaz. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, I'll bring it back then as well. Yeah. Is that going to make it all out? Well, oh, just, I'll bring it around. Just move I'll it pop it around and have a yeah, there, go back right? there and back. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't ARO. I'll let you discover. Okay. I'll attempt discover. Yep. Go for it. I uh, did not succeed. It doesn't succeed, but you had the order, right? Yeah. Sure. Sure. All right. So point. this turn we've lost uh, the Mukdar, the authorized bounty hunter who's in combat group two. Um, and a Metalia and a Libertos, so the order tool is still pretty healthy. Um, we're down to three mutts, so let's do them. Um, do, do, do. Oh, actually, end of the turn. Um, I'm controlling this because there's an Aphaton next to it. Uh, I'm controlling this because there's a Mukta and a Camille next to it. You're controlling this one because the, the Metalia is five points and the Jaguar is ten. Um, I don't know if you have a model within four inches of this. I don't think so. Yep, and you definitely don't have a model worth 31 points inside this transmission antenna area. Uh, so at the end of this turn, I'm going to score two points for controlling more zones. Uh, and I also killed your data tracker with my... Killed your HVT with my data tracker. All right. Uh, I thought it was the end of, the, end, of the end of the game, not each game round. There you go. Uh, let's check. It's so thick. No, no, yeah, you're right. Okay. It, it says game round. All right. Um, so, Mutz. Uh, the Kreeza Borak is, like, definitely the closest, so... Ah, oh, no, the Jaguar is. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's do this one first. Hiding in plain sight. So he's going to go 1.5 to there. Okay. And the remaining distance up to there. Sure. Arrows. Does he have stealth? Nope. Uh, don't change facing. Would the Kreeza of Borak like to do anything? Oh, shoot, for sure. Alright, I will emer at the Kreeza of Borak. Okay. Um, so, you want to fire your heavy pistol at me? Yeah. Hits. Damage 14. Shock. Dead mutt. Uh, would you like to make a half BTS roll on your uh, Kreeza of Borak? Sure. So it's got BTS 6, so 3. Damage is 13. He is Ouch. now, in addition to being isolated, he is immobilized. Okay, doke. Uh, and then this Metalia, I think, runs into melee with the Shakua. <laughs> Go, son. God is pretty okay! <laughs> immobilized. Immobilized 1 or 2? Uh, the one that can only be repaired by an engineer. I don't, I don't know what that means. Let's have a look. Emirat. Let's look up Emirat. Emirat. Mobilize two. 
There you go then. Okie dokie. Alright. Um, sure, Jaguar is going to close combat you. The Mutt will chain rifle you so it also hits the Kreezer Borak. Okay. Uh, okay, so you've hit, so double action save on the Mutt. The Mutt is dead. Kreezer Borak. This Jaguar is just like, fine, I'll do it all myself. <laughs> Okay, so you want uh, armor rolls on the Creaser and the Jaguar. Okay, Creaser doesn't mind it. Nope. Uh, Jaguar. Yes, also mind. does not um, mind it. And then this Matawia here just stands up and she goes around to there and she goes around to here. Now, Jaguar, if he survives this round, will become uh, impetuous next turn. He will, yes. Um, she's going to keep... Did, uh, any arrows in response to that? Let's have a look. Uh, Jag was facing the wrong way. Kreezer is stuck in his suit. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, is that Flash Pulse remote still like way back over there? Yeah, did I you move in front of the way? I don't think I've crossed that line. <laughs> I don't think, think I've so. crossed the line. Um, she'll vault up and over, and she'll end up not quite that far. So pretty much... I can see this, like this lady on this yeah, painting. Yep. If you walk in front of her, Haven't you'll yet. get zapped. All right, so she'll move over to there. Okay. All right. Um, let's. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> I, I think we just do sensible things here. Um, I will spend a regular order on combat group two on this ghoulin. Mm -hmm. Sure. And it's going to come. Turn a bit up to there, turn a bit around to there. That is uh, that is in line of fire of the Jaguar. Would it like to ARO? Now what's he armed with? A rifle, a flash pulse, a shotgun, and the forward observer skill. All right, he's going to smodge. Um, I On himself. Will, I will forward observe him, I guess. Okay. Range is 24.3. I'm not even sure. I think forward observer is burst two. Let's see what I roll. Okay. Both of those will miss, so just place your smoke. 14 You're success, fine. so... Okay, we will activate him again. And he will go two and a bit up to there, and two and a bit around to here. I did not think there'll be any arrows in response to that. Can I change facing with Smodge? No. Okay, I'll put it back where I was. You did make a change facing roll before, though, remember? Do you want to just roll to see if he succeeded then? Okay. He did not, yeah, so he's facing as, as it not. was. You want to just okay. fix him up? I'm just going to get rid of that smoke, yeah, it's just so it's not working as well. Yeah. Bloop. However, he was, uh, however he was facing. Um, he was facing, I think, this way. Yep, so I'm in the middle of moving this, this ghoul arm. I don't think okay. it's line of fire to anything. I'm going to attempt to forward observe your unconscious Morlock. Okay. I will succeed on an 11. That will flip my classified. That's your classified. Wait, is what? This, is this your classified over here? What is it called? Rescue? No. Okay, well, this one is mine. Telemetry. Okay. <laughs> um, to succeed at a forward, succeed an attack against an enemy trooper using forward observer or spotlight. So I have done my classified. Okay. Um, and it's one of the special ones for the scenario, um, which is uh, the, the thingy with the thing. Um, so we get more points. <laughs> Okay, where the heck did this come from? I, I never even saw... Oh, that's right, this is the classified deck. Rescue happens to be the bottom card on the classified deck. There we go. Now we've figured it out. Um, all right, so there is smoke on that Jaguar. Look, this is going to do this a sensible way. We're going to spend an order. We're going to activate the Mukta. It's going to come around here and up there, and we're going to shoot the absolute bejesus out of that uh, Jaguar. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, regular dodge. Um... Do you want to just back things up real quick? Oh? Before we lock that in. This is a repeater. It's a repeater for both of your hackers. Um, oh, yeah, I of course. I have definitely activated a Ghazi Metawi inside under control of that antenna. Would you like to take okay. any arrows? I would love to. I would love to put some white noise, please. Whereabouts? I would like to put white noise in blocking, ideally blocking both 
um, my Creaser and my Jaguar would be nice. You can almost 100% certainly do that. You can definitely do that. I will attempt to do so. All right, roll the 15. I did not succeed. Did not. Okay, but we'll just do a quick check. Uh, this mutt actually was over here, but I'm pretty sure uh, it moved inside under control of this repeater as well. So okay. Can I have a second go if you'd like. Yes, please. There we go. All right. Um, Excellent. In light of these events, I'm going to undo that <laughs> Mukta roll. Um, it's a very messy zone right there. It is. There's white noise and there's smoke. Okay. Um, where's your... All right. All right. That's fine. So the Jaguar is isolated, but for all intents and purposes, invincible. Um, it's in both kinds of... Both kinds of smoke area. Okay. Um, and so is the Creaser. So, I have decided that that is simply not a problem. I am going to, I'm just going to ignore that problem. So we'll go back to what we were doing. We will spend that order on the Mukta. She's going to break suppressive. And she's just going to go six inches in this direction. And then go another two. And then she's going to activate. And she's going to go six inches in this direction. Oh god, that's messy. Um, can we just flick the uh, the silhouette on this Zonbot up for a tick? I think she's got... Ooh, does she? Um, I'm not confident in that. I don't think she has line of fire. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, you're shorter. Um, so she'll just keep moving. And then she will spend an order. And she will activate. And she will come up to this wall. And she will slide out to there. To see your repaired flash pulse remote. Flash pulse. Yep. Rub, 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 rub. She'll shoot. Okay. Nine will be a hit. Nine will be a hit. It will cancel my seven, but I have two elevens. Sure. Ouch. Unconscious. All right. She will spend another order. She will activate. Um, and she will. I mean, she's just gonna like. She's just going to cheese it, but um, like an inch that way. And then like if she just moves five inches up to there, like she can go even further, like she get to there. Um, what does she see? Definitely this camouflage marker. That's probably about it at the moment. And she would be high enough to see this on cat. I think. Let's have a look at him. Oh, yeah, she sees. Okay, so, uh, Don Cat's going to dodge. Yep, does the camouflage um, marker want to do anything? Yes, the camouflage marker is going to reveal to be a Libertos. It's going to shoot the shotgun. I'm shocked. Uh, four rounds rapid. Every shot into the Libertos. Okay. An 11 is a crit? No, I'm. it's mimetism. Oh, that'll be a miss for you. Um, she takes four shots. Uh, do you have cover? It's two hits if you do, and three hits if you don't. Did you mean to be up uh, against this, like, brick here? Um, I did not place it against the brick, and I'm too far away, so I would, I'd, I'd be overly generous if you'd give me that, uh, I think. Three hits, then. Okay. Unconscious, at least. Yeah, shot. Yeah. She's, it's dead. Dead. All right. Um, I'm also moving through a repeater, so if you want to change the white noise positioning, let me know. Oh, yeah. I always forget about the white noise. Um, hmm. Yeah, why not? I'll put some white, try to put some white noise. There? Yep. Go for it. There. You, you know, in like... Um, you watch like um, Black Mirror or something where there's an episode where um, you get like your brain scrambled or something, like you deleted from... Oh no, Eternal, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind where you like your memories of another person is r r scrubbed from your, your mind. That's happened to me with white noise. Like I just... Someone has got a 
some sort of electroshock weapon and just the neurons that can remember what white noise is have been all been killed. <laughs> just don't. All right. I, I will endeavor to remind you. Um, you also had a dodge arrow on this Zond cat. Oh, yeah. I'll give that a go. Looking for a seven, I think. All right. Fail. So you've you've left the interventor in so the the Mukta in white noise. Um, but that's okay. She will spend an order. Flip, and she will go and inch this way out of white noise. Sure. And uh, then. Oh, Zombot would have been able to see it because Bomb was facing the wrong way. Ah, oh, was it? Okay then. Disregard. Uh, she will end up. Okay. Um, I don't think anything has an arrow because you have stealth, don't you? I do not have stealth. Uh, dodge change facing on the Zonbot. Mm -hmm. uh, dodge change facing on the Dectari. Mm -hmm. Interventor is going to attempt to put white noise over the Mukhtar. Okay, go for it. Position it where you'd like. Yep. I'll just give you... I'm not sure it's supposed to measure this, but 8 inches on the antenna is like out to there. And you've got to have it completely inside that. Ah, oh, you're right. So I'll put it at the edge of that yep, in there. Cool. All right. Um, I will put all of my shots into the Kreezer Borak in the back because the white noise has moved off of him. Sure. Uh, so you succeed. It goes up. I'll take four shots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, range will be range will be good, right? Yeah, range is good. Sixteens. Take the big bastard out. A crit, first of the game. A crit and three hits. Okay. So fails one of those saves, so he's unconscious. All right, she is going to activate, spend another order. She's going to go out to there, out to there. She's got six inches of movement, so she's got tons to do this. And... Oh, I've got to roll a dodge change facing for the doctor. You do, yeah. Uh, 16 will be a fail. Um, this has moved into line of fire of the Jaguar. The Alguacile, the Clockmaker, but it is not moved into line of fire of the Interventor because there's this large transductor in the way. All right. Um, smoke dodge is not going to help. Okay. Um, clockmaker and Alguacile got a combi rifle. Jaguar is going to dodge. Okay, um, I will put uh, one into the Jaguar, two into the Alguacile, one into the Clockmaker. Sure. All right, let's do the dodge of the Jaguar. 14 is a fail. 14. Is the that is a fail. The Mukhtar hits but doesn't crit the Jaguar. Okay. He's fine. He's going to fail Guts and try to... Sure, there's anywhere he can go. To this way? You can't come mm. closer to me on a guts roll. No. Okay, no, I'll just fail it. There's nothing yep. to do then. Uh, the Alguacile. Okay. Alright. 14. He's a miss. Will not be a hit. BS 11. Hit you twice. Oh, it's within within 16 though, plus 3. Your mimetism. I have mimetism That's in miss. cover, yeah. Miss. Two hits on the Alguacile. Two hits. He shocks Seven, out. least unconscious. Yeah, the model leaves out. the okay. table. All public information about it is revealed. Is that your lieutenant? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, and one shot into the clockmaker. Range is good for me, not so good for you. Fail. I hit. There's that number again. Shocked out. Your, your dice have not been good for you this game. Um, that's honestly probably the coup de gras because you can't repair your Kreezer Borak now. Um, we will spend another order and we're going to have the Mukta come. We're just going to do this by the numbers. We're going to have the Mukta roll up to here into base contact with the transductor zond and then back. Yes. And we're just going to coup de gras it. Sure. That's not a classified or anything. I'm just getting out of the way. Sure, and sure, we'll sure. Spend another order. And we'll start in line of fire, this time of the Interventor. And we'll just back up this way. 
Interventor is going to shoot with combi rifle. I will red fury you. I don't think it's a hit. Well, is that a crit? No, no it won't be sure it's a miss. Don't you? It's a miss. It's a miss at best of times. So plus three for range, uh, minus three for um, mimetism. Mimetism. That means it's a miss. Uh, no crits, four hits. Super dead. Yep, all right. That's probably the end of it. Um, we'll spend another order on the Mukta, and we will just... Um, so, I mean, where she's, is she going to do? Get killed by Jaguars? We'll just put her into suppressive fire. Um, and... Uh, regular order in the second combat group. Um, we will use it on this buried killer hacker, and he will just yep. activate, and he'll have a crack at Jasmine Jazz. If uh, so, sure. he, he idles any arrows. Uh, yeah, Jasmine Jazz is going to paint Maestro back. Maestro, he'll uh, he'll lightning. Okay. So you suffer negative three to your. I do. And you six suffer, would succeed. You suffer negative three yourself. Uh, so oh, your yep, six sure. cancels my two. My ten gets through. So six goes up to nine, then goes back down to six. Ah, uh, no, sorry. So your your stat is fourteen. Oh, yep. And yeah. then you get plus three from Maestro, minus six from Lightning. Oh, yep. Sure. Okay. Uh, so just one hit. Okay. So oh, Jesus, Lightning as a program is. Uh, Ouch. Damage. Oh. Lightning is damage fifteen breaker. Unconscious. Okay. Um, we've got control of this one, we've got control of this one. I can't do anything about that Jaguar. Um, the Mukta is fine, we've got control of this one. Um, you're unconscious. We will spend an irregular order. And we're just going to move this Mutt. And then move her again. And then... That's kind of chill, actually. I think I think at this juncture the game is kind of on lock. Um, with I am in retreat. Micro kill. Yeah, you're in retreat. Yep. Um, because the crease is unconscious. Yep. Yep. So basically, you've got a turn to do whatever you'd like to in terms of uh, attempts to salvage the game. But I think that's um that's pretty much the gist. Did you want anything to do? You've got Jaguars with courage. If you wanted them to like have a crack at people. Okay, so carriage they will not need to retreat. Is That's that the correct. idea? Yeah, models models with um, models with courage are immune mm -hmm. to the retreat state. You know what? I'm gonna have a crack. <laughs> so uh, I'm lost a lieutenant, so all I have are the Jaguars individual orders. Um, let's put it against Oh, I don't actually have the order markers. So I'll put the irregular orders against them. That's the way to go. So one there. One there, one there. Yep, that one is impetuous as well, if you would like to spend an impetuous oh, yes. order. Of course, let's do that. Um, let's do that, let's do the impetuous order. Okay, nearest model. Probably the mutt. Mutt, yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> she'll, um, she'll, she'll chain rifle you. All right, um, yeah, I'll chain rifle you back. Uh, armor save. She I go dogged. Okay. Send regular order. And I'm gonna... Yeah. Move four inches towards you. Chain rifle. Chain rifle again. She passes. This has not been an even dice game. Eh, uh, he's dead. No. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he did. He did heroic things, though. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's do this guy. Yep. I'm going to go four inches this way. I don't think there's an angle I can get the chain rifle down. Oh, there may be. You just fire. Yeah. Remember, this, this transductor's on got coup de grade. Oh, right, of course. Um, in that case, Come I think I was touching. Yep. So, ugh, I, was, I think I was here. 
you were a little further back, but also, yep, okay. you, you could still easily get into chain rifle range. Here she'll, then, she'll fault over the box. She'll suppress yeah. fire. Yep, chain rifle. Yep. All right, I will do my armor roll first. Okay. She passes. Okie dokie. And then the suppressive fire attack uh, crits and kills. Understood. Okie dokie. One last Jaguar left. Hmm. He runs to the cupboard, steals the silverware, and bails. <laughs> Gets the hell out. <laughs> all, all right. All right. I can't, I can't see anything cool, even just narr narratively cool, like the last thing, two things I was trying to do. Yeah, no, I All right. Thanks can't. for the game, Carl, Rob. Thank you for the game. I'll, I'll tell you what made a massive difference. It is so much easier to push through nomads without puppet bots in the play. You reckon? Oh, just because there's like six wounds on the thing. They flash pulse you. Mm. You're really good at using them in a way as well that like demands, that makes them demand attention. Like it's really hard to just sort of conveniently triage um, the puppet bot attacks because you end up like the last game we played you ended up with them just with shotguns and flash pulses hitting mutts that were trying to like leave the deployment zone so mm. I I did not want to make the mistake you didn't have them in this list but I did not want to make the mistake of letting you do that to me a second time I'll tell you my concept so I didn't know which list you were going to take I didn't know what faction you were going to take I almost deliberately didn't ask you um, my concept was so first of all, I misunderstood how the repeaters work. Yep. So I, the idea was that I was going to have the my I was going to take Infowar superiority with my awesome nomad hackers, and then if you had, had like tags or heavy infantry or something, then I was going to dominate. I was going to just have them just outside um, the repeater range because I thought that it didn't. I thought it was like a network, like a you like you plug in, like you get in get in repeater range, then you're in the repeater network. Not mm -hmm. everyone's always in the repeater network all the time, which Kind of doesn't really make much sense to me, but that's that's cool. That's how it's how it is. Um, and then and then I was going to have I was assuming that I'd like dominate over your heavy infantry and stuff, and then the Kreiser Borax would be um, like the the sole heavy infantry on on the field, and he could like roll over your guys. But you played Hark, where you all nothing was hackable anyway. Um, light infantry very good, and yeah, it just didn't really work out. I guess puppet bots. I wanted to try and move. Beyond puppet bots, I felt like I don't That's know. Fair. Try different things. Yeah. The um, the interventor, yeah. like the interventor, had some serious potential. I actually really like interventor and jazz just as a pair in this scenario. Gives you a massive amount of casual utility. Um, okay. Where, like I could, I could never activate my bereeds, right? Because any bereed that activates is copying a maestro and a sucker punch back. Mm. Um, we had kind of like a cold war where you couldn't go inactive and I couldn't go inactive. Go activate during my active turn but you could consistently just once you figured it out we, we figured it out relatively quickly once you figured out that you could start dropping those white noises in places that would let them be defensible um you almost could have and what i was frankly concerned about was you you could honestly have had the kreiser borak just deploy up here in the open mm -hmm. and the second those mutts begin moving from the antenna, drop white noise on them. Mm. Um, yeah. Because the, the big problem with vanilla hack Islam is that, like, unless you are running a Shehab total reaction bot, which if you're doing that, I'm taking it a lieutenant hacker, and I'm not taking a lieutenant hacker in this scenario. Um, there's no gun that can... Like, every gun is MSV2. Mm. And it's, so it's the... It's the nomad equivalent of all of those times where sometimes I get a mutt down standing in the open next to a muktar and suppressive, and the mutt just mm. like throws smoke onto the muktar and it becomes this immovable obstacle. But uh, I'm yeah. really happy with the getting to use the bashi to just like nope, clear the mines, get rid of them, save yeah. the orders. Um, he earned his salary this this game. That's for sure. He did, yeah. And then the rest of the list is just I'm man. So if I any other any other hack list, I'm usually like much more comfortable just deploying second, going second, having this like cagey defensive setup, and then picking off pieces that come at me. But Saladin just gives you this like like I could mm. never have deployed that 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 Mukhtar that went like so prone down there, ready to attack. She could never mm -hmm. have done that if you'd still had a reserve drop, because like who knows what you'd have put down. Hmm. Puppets. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Puppets, puppets, and a puppet master, and a mine. That's the that's the best nomad reserve drop. So many things. Yeah, it's five elements, and the mine can be placed in a way that is actually useful. Um, I tell you what, the, the Morlocks didn't um, do as much as I'd hoped, but uh, you had a lot of things going on. So you had Libertos, you had yeah, Mutts, the Morlocks. Morlocks. Were, I was hoping to get at the, get at the Mutts, but you had a pretty integrated. Um, attack so you had a few different interlocking pieces which worked very well together yeah, I'm, and the morlocks one on one tend to like do quite well the assault pistols in active turn are pretty neat but with a bunch of stuff going on they just nothing seemed to work i think you i think you want to set morlocks up if you can this this table's a little trickier um but if you can set morlocks up in positions where they don't have to take a gunfight in the impetuous phase because then you get to start doing things. Because the, the ideal situation for a Morlock is one where it attacks an enemy that doesn't have cover, and so it's just exchanging burst for burst. Um, but often, if they're positioned like you had them positioned really, really aggressively behind this, um, this like circ, this uh, skirt here, mm. and that meant that they had to they had to go over the top basically. Um, and because they had to go over the top, I knew where the engagements would happen, and I mm. could set up to sure. fight them on my own terms. I think the Assault Makes Pistol sense. Dojo is really, like, there's something there, but having them, for example, say, one of them back here, so that it runs mm. up this direction, and then one of them back here. I mean, this table is not ideal for Impetuous. It's... It's... It's not bad, but it's one of those ones where there's no there's no terrain pieces that you can put an impetuous model behind. Like a Kuang Shi doesn't want to deploy on this table because where does it go? Where does it? Um, it, it there's no like four inch long buildings hmm. <laughs> for it to hide behind, apart from maybe back here. But anyway, Kyle, thank you very much for the game. Yeah, um, thank you. And thank you for agreeing to be recorded. I'll chuck this up online tomorrow, maybe, and hopefully people will enjoy watching it. Too easy. See you later, Carl. Bye. Bye.